Question seven, really similar to question six, um, looking at our unit square. What happens to one zero? What happens to zero one? And it says we're going to reflect it in the x axis. So uh, zero what? Sorry, one zero here. It's going to stay in the same place. And zero one here is going to go down to there. So that's going to go down to zero minus one. And so this matrix is one zero. 0 minus 1. There's matrix A. Uh, matrix B is the rotation, so we're going to need our rotation formula. Um, now it's 30 degrees clockwise, so I'm going to need to put a minus 30 in my formula. Minus the sine of minus 30, the sine of minus 30, the cos of minus 30. And so my matrix B um, is going to be root 3 over 2, uh, that one's a half, uh, that one's minus a half, and that one again, root 3 over 2. So there's our matrix B. We want to go, um, so we first want to do A and then B, and so we're going to multiply them this way around, B times A, so root 3 over 2, a half, minus a half, root 3 over 2, multiplied by 1, 0, 0, minus 1, gives us, so one of those, root 3 over 2, and nothing. Um, that one there is just going to be minus a half, isn't it? That one there is going to be minus a half as well, and that one's going to be minus root 3 over 2. Um, so there's the answer to that one.